You a special ventilator from England that helped to save a Jamestown man who has cystic fibrosis. As Dr. Peter Ostro reports now, thanks to that experience at Children's Hospital, the machine could save many more lives. A few weeks ago, Tyler Blake went home from Children's Hospital. He had suffered a very serious complication of cystic fibrosis, and he might not have survived. But his physician, Dr. Joe Cronin, received special permission for him to become the first person in America to use a new ventilator, the Hayek RTX. And I was at a point where um, I couldn't get any worse, basically. He came to me and asked me if, if, it, was, if it would be something I'd be interested in, and, and I said yes. The machine was flown in from England. It works by encasing the chest in a shell hooked up to an air pump that can produce either negative or positive pressure on the chest wall. That moves air in and out in a natural way. The effects were almost immediate. I felt a difference right down in the x-ray showed it. Showed a difference within 12 hours. He's the only American who's used it. The success was dramatic, and today Children's Hospital announced that the Food and Drug Administration has cleared the Hayek ventilator for further use in the United States. Tyler spoke to the group from his home. How are you feeling today? I feel great. Feeling really good. The ventilator will be useful for many other respiratory conditions, and Dr. Cronin credits the company, the hospital, and the FDA. I'm very grateful that everyone cooperated so uh, beautifully in order to bring this patient this opportunity, which he would not have had. I, I certainly look forward to using this device more here at Children's Hospital in, in a greater number and variety of patients. Now, this new ventilator will probably be very effective for people with severe asthma, emphysema, and several other serious breathing problems. We don't know that for sure yet because it hasn't been tried, but now that it's been cleared by the FDA, doctors can start using it and collecting the evidence that will prove its value. And it's really nice to know that Children's Hospital played a role here. Oh, it really is. You know, it was thanks to their determination to help a particular patient. They have the only machine now in the country. They'll be getting more. It's possible that children's may even become a training site for others as these machines are distributed around the country. Now, the machine, is that like the old-time uh, iron lung that we saw many years ago? Well, you know, it's very similar, but it's, it's much less cumbersome than, than the iron lung used to be. Uh, most respirators today push air in through the trachea, and they use the air pressure to expand the chest. That can harm the lungs. But what this does is it expands the chest cavity, which then sucks air in in a, in a natural way. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it really is a, a much more natural way of assisting breathing. And cutting-edge te technology is yeah. wonderful, isn't it? All right, doctor, thanks a lot.